And former U.S. Ambassador to the EU Gordon Sondland is suing former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and the U.S. government. Sondland is seeking nearly $2 million in legal costs he accrued while serving as a witness in former President Trump's first impeachment investigation. Now, in the suit, Sondland alleges that Pompeo failed to actually follow through on a, quote, legally binding promise to reimburse him. NBC News justice correspondent Pete Williams joins me now from Washington, D.C. Pete, uh, that suit alleges that Pompeo and his staff continued to reaffirm his promise to reimburse Sondland. But what more can you tell us about that? So a little about Sondland, the background here. He's the one who, in dramatic televised testimony before Congress, talked about what he called a quid pro quo, namely that the Trump administration told Ukraine the U.S. would resume military aid if Ukraine would launch an investigation of an energy company which included Hunter Biden on its board of directors. So in the lawsuit, Sondland says he had no choice but to testify because he was served with a subpoena. And he says the State Department informed him that government lawyers would not represent him. But he says Mike Pompeo, who was secretary of state, and other senior officials told him at least four times that the government would reimburse him for the full cost that he incurred in hiring his own lawyers. Sondland says that all changed after his testimony when he was fired by Trump and Pompeo. He says the government offered to reimburse him just 86000 but he says his legal fees are more than 20 times that, $1.8 million. So he says Pompeo's repeated promises amount to a legally binding contract, which the government must honor. But he has an alternate, alternate theory here, too. He says if Pompeo did not actually have the authority as secretary of state to make that commitment, then Pompeo was acting outside the scope of his office, which is fraud. And therefore, he says, Pompeo should come up with the money out of his own pocket. Well, is it fraud, Pete? I mean, what is Pompeo saying about all of this? Well, Pompeo isn't saying much. I mean, he will at some point legally respond to it. He has responded to the lawsuit today by calling it ridiculous, saying he's confident the courts will see it the same way. One of Sondland's lawyers, by the way, says he harbors no ill will against Pompeo and is just seeking the reimbursement that he says he was promised. So Pompeo says this is ridiculous, but the complaint says that Sondland is, in fact, seeking a jury trial. So what can we expect next, then, Pete? Well, the next thing is the, the Pompeo's lawyers will respond. I suspect that they will seek to dismiss this. They'll, they'll file a motion to dismiss. But a couple of civil lawyers I've talked to say they think it could well survive a motion to dismiss. You know, a, a, a contract does not have to be written down. An agreement doesn't have to be written down to be legally binding. And so I'm sure that some of these other people who Sondland argues in the lawsuit were witnesses and made their own statements about the government's promises, uh, witnesses to what was said at the time, will potentially be witnesses if there is a trial. So that's the next step. Pompeo's lawyers will respond. Well, we will wait to see. All right. Pete Williams for us there in D.C. Pete, as always, thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.